If you are one of millions across the world that has attended a pro-Palestine protest in recent weeks, you might have heard the chant, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. So what does it mean? For many Palestinians and their allies, it calls for the liberation of Palestinian people under occupation and under siege from the Jordan River in the West Bank to Gaza's Mediterranean coastline and those Palestinians in Israel who are treated as second-class citizens. But some interpret it differently. When they say they want a Palestine from the river to the sea, what they're really calling for is the extermination of the Jewish state. The meaning of this thing they're chanting is Israel shouldn't exist. Some uh, might say it's sort of a call for a second holocaust. Not only this, but British Home Office Minister Suella Braverman said protesters who chanted it should be arrested, calling the slogan a staple of anti-Semitic discourse. In Vienna, police banned the pro-Palestinian protests on the basis the chant was included in event flyers, calling the slogan a call to violence. But not all Europeans agree. In October 2023, a Dutch court ruled that the slogan should be protected under free speech. The judge said, from the river to the sea, was subject to various interpretations and that a Dutch activist speech, which included the chant and criticisms of Israel, are not anti-Semitic because they relate to the state of Israel but do not relate to Jews because of their race or religion. So where did it come from? From the river to the sea was a slogan of the Palestine Liberation Organization in the wake of the 1948 Nakba when close to a million Palestinians were forced from their lands and historic Palestine was divided into two states. The PLO called for a secular, democratic state from the river to the sea, including people of all faiths, what is today known as a one-state solution. And while there are those in the region that call for Israelis to leave the land completely, the vast majority of Palestinians accept this demand is not realistic. But now, before any of this can be considered, the slogan has an even more narrow and immediate focus to end the bombing, the siege, and the military occupation taking place between the Jordan River and Mediterranean Sea.